You know, I didn't realize how much stuff I actually had until I started going through everything and I had a lot of junk. I've been decluttering since the beginning of the year and let me tell you, it is the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Just by decluttering one area of my home, it has become like a domino effect. Like I did one area and then ever since I did the first area, I've been wanting to do more and more and it feels literally so amazing, you guys. So today I'm gonna talk about 10 areas of your house that you can declutter right now that will each take you less than 20 minutes to declutter. Number one is your Tupperware, especially plastic ones, the ones that get the spaghetti stains on the bottom. It is time to let those go. I just recently did this. I've been trying to transition into all glass Tupperware, so I've been getting rid of most of my plastic Tupperware, and I am definitely one that likes to hoard Tupperware. Like, I don't know what it is, but when we moved into our house, we decided to go to Ikea and get like this big box of plastic Tupperware, and it had like 100 pieces in it, and and I just thought, oh my gosh, this is so cheap. Like I have to buy it. It has all these pieces. And I just felt like the more I had, the better. But now I am looking in my cupboard and seeing how gross they all look after a year of using them. And so I decided to let most of those go. Obviously the ones that are still usable, I'm gonna keep until I can't use them anymore. But for the most part, I'm leaning more towards glass Tupperware now. They just hold up way longer. And honestly, I just love to use them. They just feel better they're like more sturdy if you don't drop them obviously but that is one thing you can declutter number two and probably the most satisfying thing in my opinion is your spice drawer or your spice cabinet whatever you use growing up in my parents house this is always something that was literally a mess all the time like my mom just had so many spices that were always expired or like ones that we never used so when I moved out one of the first things that I did was organize my spice drawer so I bought these like jars off of Amazon and I poured all of my spices into these jars and put the little cute labels on them I'll leave the jars linked down below the ones that I have from Amazon you obviously don't have to get these but you can definitely organize your spice drawer and get rid of spices that you no longer use I hate those recipes that require so many different spices that you don't have like I usually just don't buy them I'll just use the other spices that I do have because if I end up buying them then I use them for the one recipe and then I never use them again so that's pro tip just don't buy those spices and then you won't have to declutter as many. Number three is excess kitchen utensils and appliances. Appliances are definitely something that takes up so much space, especially appliances that have one purpose. If you can't use it for multiple things, I try not to keep things like that in my home. Obviously, I have some exceptions, like I have a waffle maker. You can't really do much else with a waffle maker. I mean, you could, but I don't. But other things like we have this ice cream maker that my boyfriend bought me for one of my birthdays, I think, and I loved it at the time and we used it a lot at the time, but now it just sits in our cupboard and gathers dust. So that is one thing that I could go declutter right now. It definitely takes up a lot of space in your cabinet and it would just be so much easier if it wasn't there because then you don't have to like reach behind things and like move things to get the things out that you want and it's just a lot more practical. Also, kitchen utensils. So if you have like excess spatulas or like, wooden spoons anything like that like you don't really need more than one typically like i have one spatula i just recently decluttered like a bunch of the large spoons that you use for like stirring things you don't need like a million of them also any excess kitchen utensils like forks knives spoons we honestly have way too many and i could definitely go get rid of some of them that is something that you really don't need like 20 of each thing you could just rewash the ones that you have at least i should be doing that but i think like having Having five of each is probably a good number, especially if you're someone that likes to like have people over. You wanna at least make sure you have enough for your guests. I definitely believed when I first moved into this home that having more items would be more convenient and make me happier. I don't know why, but now I definitely believe that less is more because when I have less items, like say for instance in my kitchen, it is way easier to find things. It is way easier to use the utensils that I need and I don't have to like worry about things falling out of the cup cupboard or it being hard to put all the dishes away because if you only have so many it's way easier to put them away that's like my least favorite chore is putting away dishes anyways i digress moving on number four and probably the most tedious yet most freeing area of my home to declutter is my old mail and old papers i just did this the other day and oh my god i literally had so much excess mail receipt papers from 
college, from high school, literally just so much. I kept all of my anatomy flashcards. I had all of my old receipts. I would literally buy, this is so funny. I don't know like why I did this. Whenever I would buy something expensive, I would keep the tag for it just in case one day like I wanted to return it. And I literally kept them for years. Obviously you wear things more than once, you can't return it. I don't know why I kept it for so long, but I literally just had a box of them. Same with receipts. I just kept all my receipts and I just shoved them in a box and I never went through them for years. Literally, I would just carry the box. Okay, I had multiple boxes. I would carry these boxes with me wherever I moved and I would put them in the top of my closet and they would just sit there gathering dust and it, it stressed me out a little bit to look at them because I knew how much clutter was in there, how much junk. So I finally got rid of them and definitely gonna shred all of this mail and my shredder is probably going to explode. But at least it's gone and off my shelf. A good tip for this for reducing mail clutter and paper clutter is to keep one small box just for important items and documents and stuff because we all have those like few important things that we need so definitely just keeping one small box is a good hack and I'm gonna be implementing this from now on so I don't have so many papers to declutter okay I feel like I'm talking way too much about each item I'm just very passionate about decluttering now and I hope you guys will choose one of these areas to declutter of your home and just tell me how it makes you feel because for me it honestly is just a stress relief like sometimes I'm like oh I don't really want to declutter this but then I do it and I'm like wow I'm in such a great mood I feel amazing my head is clear like what what like what is life I don't know less is more you guys less is more ah! okay number five is socks and underwear I used to have a sock obsession I would just collect so many socks like those ones that go up to your calf and they have little cute designs and fuzzy socks any fun socks like that I just had a million of them and I just recently got rid of like most of them I think I kept like three pairs of fuzzy socks because I still love to wear them but I don't need like 20 pairs of fuzzy socks so this is your sign to go through your fuzzy socks if you have a lot like I did also getting rid of any socks that have holes in them underwear that you just don't wear or that is like super worn I had so many pairs of underwear that literally had the tags on them obviously I don't wear them so I just donated them because I never wore them to go along with that like bras that are worn or that you never wear I had so many bras that this is probably TMI but I literally had so many bras that I never wear I only wear sports bras and I have one tan bra that I wear I'm, what I'm trying to say is just get rid of your excess bra. Get rid of excess underwear that you don't wear and you will just feel much better. Number six is clothes that you have not worn in over a year. We all have those clothing items that are just sitting in our closet and haven't been touched in over a year. Just get rid of them. Donate them. Give them to someone that would actually use them. I feel like certain items, we let them sit in our closet for so long because we tell ourselves that we're going to wear them eventually or maybe we paid a lot of money for them so we don't want to let them go. But you could definitely sell them on pause mark or donate them to like a friend or family member that would actually use them that always just makes me feel better when I donate items I just think okay there's someone out there that needs this more than I do and they're gonna actually use it whereas it's just sitting in my closet not being worn like that is a waste of money it's just sitting there not being used number seven is books that you already read or are never going to read I am definitely someone that loves to read physical books when I'm done reading them I always try to give them to someone else or just donate them in general because honestly why keep a book you already read like for me I'm never gonna reread it so it's just sitting there collecting dust so I'd rather give it to someone that can enjoy the book as much as I did or other books that you have had for a long time and have never opened or maybe you got halfway through and you never finished them and for whatever reason you just kept them because you're like oh maybe I'll read that one day just get rid of them if you haven't read them in over a year I think it's time I think it's time to donate them number eight is old makeup that is expired or empty Yes, makeup does expire. If you've had makeup products in your cabinet for a long time, I would highly suggest looking at the expiration date because I did this recently and I noticed that some of my products were expired and I also used to do this thing where I kept products that had like the tiniest bit left. Like I just never used that like very last amount and so I just sat in my cabinet until it like literally dried up. That's so gross. But yeah, I just recently went through my makeup and got rid of everything that was expired or empty. 
Number nine is jewelry that you never wear or is rusted. I definitely need to do this, go through my jewelry. I wear like the same pieces over and over, like this necklace and my earrings. This is like all I wear. So I could probably get rid of most of my other stuff. I used to buy jewelry from like fast fashion brands or Amazon and it would just rust over time. Honestly, it's kind of a waste. Like you wear it the first two times and it's like nice and looks cute and whatnot. But then after a while, it just starts to rust and doesn't look as good. So this is your sign. Just get rid of that jewelry that is rusted or you never wear it. Maybe you could give it to someone else. From now on, I'm definitely gonna invest in some higher quality jewelry that is not going to just rust within a couple weeks because that is truly just a waste of money when it does that. Also jewelry that turns green gotta go. Number 10, kind of going along with the makeup products, is underneath your sink. This is a place for me that is always cluttered. It always feels cluttered. No matter how many times I declutter it, I just have so many products in there, and I always tell myself that I use all of them, but it, there's no way. There's just so many. I did organize it recently, so it looks a lot better, but I definitely still throw away some products that I have or, like, recycle them, you know? That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, let me know down below what other minimalist videos you guys would like to see from me. I'm really enjoying making content on this journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.